Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, the Mathematica 7 uh, interface. Um, I just pasted the text, but uh, I'll uh, uh, introduce each step. I'll talk about each step as we derive the finite element model for uh, a beam or the stiffness matrix actually for a beam. First, I wrote down the uh, H uh, vector uh, as a row vector, one, uh, one comma x comma x squared comma x cubed, and actually I use uh, instead of x squared and x cubed x times x and x times x times x, uh, as uh, old habits die hard. Uh, I actually as, uh, I got used to doing this since I started programming, uh, and uh, uh, it is uh, said that uh, uh, performing a multiplication is much faster. Uh, by the computer than uh, performing a power uh, operation. So anyway, here we press uh, shift enter and there you are now H of W or HW is defined as uh, the given vector. Uh, the following step is uh, define HWX where uh, uh, HWX is the differentiation D of HW with respect to X. Uh, you get what you expected, it's 0, 1, 2x, and 3x squared. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, create the transformation matrix row by row. Remember that uh, uh, to create the transformation matrix, I needed the deflection and the slope at each point. So at the first point, x plus one, uh, x1, I'm going to calculate t1 and t2. Uh, then at the end point, which is x1 plus the length of the element, uh, I'm going to again uh, calculate h uh, and h uh, of x. Uh, then at uh, the last line, I'm going to clear x just to um, uh, use it later in integration and uh, differentiation. Here you are, as I press shift enter, uh, I get the uh, vectors. Uh, this vector is, as you see, uh, 1, x1, x1 squared, and x1 cubed. And uh, this is by, by my, my substituting uh, um, uh, x, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, substituting x by x1. And here what you get from the derivative. Then I redefine x as x1 plus uh, length of the element and substitute back and this is what you get. So now I need to put the four vectors, the four row vectors in a single matrix, and this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to define the TB. Actually, just to be clear, uh, W here stands for uh, the uh, lateral deflection I used uh, as a subscript in many cases, and B stands for bending. So these are the transformation, uh, this is the transformation matrix that I use uh, in bending problems. Uh, so here you are, you get TB, uh, that's it, uh, the four vectors, uh, then uh, you invert it, and then I, I'll ask Mathematica to present it as uh, in a matrix form so that you can see it uh, as an inverse matrix, and here we are, uh, here is the T uh, matrix, here is the inverse of the T matrix, Mathematica operated, uh, did this all symbolically. And then here it is in matrix uh, four. Of course, if you substitute x1 by zero, uh, and uh, you'll get all this in terms of uh, L element. Uh, well, I'm just demonstrating here that uh, whatever x's you use for x1 and x2, you're going to get the same matrix. Uh, I can prove it mathematically, but uh, this way it's just you, you, you'll see it yourself right away. Uh, now, uh, uh, to get the, the stiffness matrix, we will need the second derivative of uh, H. So here we are going to define it. Uh, HW XX uh, is equal to the differentiation of HWX with respect to X. And there you are. Uh, here is the second derivative. So uh, now I'm, I'm telling Mathematica that I want to uh, do an inner uh, multiplication uh, between the two vectors, uh, HWXX uh, and itself. So uh, this is going to be the column vector 
and this is going to be the row vector to end up with a matrix. So when we perform the multiplication, this is what you're going to get. Uh, maybe I can just show it here in matrix form, KB matrix form. So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, now uh, I'm going to um, integrate uh, this um, uh, this matrix, which is, uh, as you can see, a function in X. I'm going to integrate it from X1 to X1 plus LE, or the length of the element. Uh, there you are. Uh, again, uh, you're going to see uh, this uh, uh, here. Let me again retype it for you. See, these are the terms you're, that you're going to get. Uh, but uh, remember that I would need to multiply this by the inverse uh, transformation matrix. Here, uh, I hope you have noticed this, I ignored multiplying the, trans the inverse transformation matrix by H to get N. This trick actually I used uh, because um, uh, if I'm uh, performing numerical integration, it will be much easier for me to uh, perform this integration first, the one we did here, uh, the integration of the stiffness matrix, then multiply it by the constant matrix TB inverse. Remember, TB inverse, uh, although it, it contains a lot of information, but it's still a constant matrix. All what I need to do is keep it outside the integration, perform the simpler integral, then multiply by uh, the resultant. So now uh, this is what we got from the integration, and now I'm going to multiply it uh, from both sides by the uh, inverse transpose, uh, sorry, uh, the inverse of the transformation matrix, and this is what you're going to get. Remember, I haven't multiplied the matrix by EI, uh, which is the flexural uh, stiffness. Uh, so uh, all what I need to do is add an EI uh, outside this matrix. Uh, if it's a constant, of course, if it's not a constant, then it should have been in, uh, included in the integration uh, at this step. Uh, uh, and you can see that uh, I'm having here uh, all the terms, the 4x4 four four matrix is there, it's a symmetric matrix, and this is the matrix that you're going to see in any of the uh, any of the uh, finite element textbooks that talk about beams. Uh, let me review what we did here. Uh, the first step was defining the uh, shape function or the interpolation, sorry, the interpolation polynomial. Uh, then uh, I obtained its derivative. Uh, using the shape function and its derivative, I substituted the values of x by x1 and x1 plus le to obtain the four row vectors that will uh, make up the transformation matrix. Here you are, these are the four vectors. Then I assemble the four vectors in a single matrix called TB. Uh, here is how it would look like each uh, row. This, uh, each of these uh, um, is a row matrix. Then uh, I ask Mathematica to invert it and the inverse was presented in matrix form, and there you are. This is the matrix form of the TB inverse. As you can see here, let me just reduce uh, the size here a bit, just to show it all. Here you are. Uh, this is the whole uh, TB inverse. Uh, if, you, if you're if you interested in maybe performing this using uh, x1 equals 0, and x2 equals L element. Maybe it, uh, now we can have an interesting uh, output. Here you are. And this is what we really wrote in our uh, presentation, the earlier presentation, uh, if you've seen the, the, the former uh, video. Now, again, here you are. Uh, this is the uh, uh, second derivative. And now I'm performing the uh, uh, integral, uh, sorry, the multiplication, and you can see here it's all in x's. Uh, now let me uh, show it as a matrix. Here it is. Now 
we will perform the integration from zero to L element. And there you are uh, in matrix form again. Here it is. But I'll have to multiply it now by the uh, inverse transpose from one side and the inverse from the other side. And I get actually the same matrix as uh, we expected. So uh, this is the stiffness matrix for uh, a beam element. Uh, and this is how we derived it. The same procedure actually will be used for any other uh, element that we will uh, derive. Uh, next video, we will show how we will perform the same uh, procedure using numerical integration to obtain the stiffness matrix of uh, uh, a beam. You can also find uh, um, a link uh, with this Mathematica file, uh, a link that you can download this Mathematica file from, if you have Mathematica, of course and uh, uh, perform the uh, integrations yourself and maybe play around and see what happens when, when you change a few of uh, the things that we've used here.